Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen, and I'm here today to do my 10 favorites from the year 2023. And this is a collaboration that I have done with Natalie, the beauty diva, and Carol from the Old Carol Show. I did two of them. This is the 10th one I've done, and I did my first two were solo. The next seven were with Carol and Natalie. Carol didn't get to last year. Something came up and something has come up that's out of Natalie's control and she can't do it this year. And this has been always been my favorite video to film. And it just, I'll talk about why Natalie isn't doing this with us later in the video because I need to get through this. I want to tell you a little bit about Carol. Carol is, I gave her the name Queen of Cool. She is the Queen of Cool. I enjoy her so much. I love her channel. I found Carol before I even started my YouTube channel. And to me, she was like magical. And what's so funny, anytime she sees something that's like wonder something or magic this or magic that, she is right in there give, getting it. Uh, I, I just love her. And I hope you go and watch her video and go back. What you can do is if you go to YouTube, just type in the name like Old Carol Show in the YouTube search bar and that will bring you to her channel page. And if you go down, you can just click on video and then there's several options. You can either do the most popular, the most current, or the oldest and it'll show you a list of the videos or that's what it used to do. Things change all the time, but like... It, I like to go back and watch people's older videos. It's fun for me too, except for myself. <laughs> but I do keep them up there. I do have only removed two videos since I started. Just go watch Carol and enjoy her like I do. And uh, yeah, she she's wonderful. I have three winners of a $100 e-gift card that I will announce later in the video. And I've got to talk about my very first one. This was truly my favorite. And the rest of them aren't in any particular order. I start getting this list together in January. And I've made rules for myself throughout all these videos that I've done throughout the years. It has to be something I purchase myself and I can't repeat from year to year. Because believe me, there's some things I would repeat every single year. Well, a lot of companies collaborate with these young, beautiful YouTubers to make specific products, palettes. I mean, it's something that is done quite often. But the only company that I've ever known that has done a collaboration with somebody from the mature beauty community, someone over 60, is Sydney Grace. And they did it with my friend Mary, Glitzy Fritzy. What I know most about Sydney Grace is what I've learned from Mary and some other beauty YouTubers. She did like 26 videos on Sydney Grace Sunday. And Sydney Grace is a company that if I put a link down to her company, creators do not make a cent. If they have a 15% discount code for you, they don't make a cent from that. I've heard so many wonderful things about Sydney Grace. I knew I was going to buy a palette. Mary told me she they had asked her to collaborate, and I thought, well, I'll wait, and I will buy Mary's palette. Well, I can consider these purchased because I purchased quite a few and gave them away, so now they get to fit in my criteria. It's called the Blessed Palette. She designed the cover. She has a light. I'm going to put in photos because I won't do it justice and a dark. Uh, it's beautiful. She named the shades. She made the shades. She would mix and match and come up with shades. They're all wonderful. And I want to put a link to her video where she announces and talks about the, the shade names and the shades. But the first one is My Savior and Be a Blessing and so on and so forth. And right here is M-E after 60. That's for me. And today I have a little bit of Emmy After 60 here in the corner. I have Pita up there. I have some Irish Heat on my lid, some Sugar Tiger, and I know what all these names represent and uh, be a blessing. So I did a whole look today for me, this is big, using Mary's um, shadows. So it's definitely my favorite of the year and what else can I say? 
My and the next favorite is from BK Beauty, and it is a specific brush. I really do like all of her brushes. Lisa J Makeup started a company quite a few years ago called BK Beauty, and to me, I've, I've used I own brushes that are a lot more expensive than these, and these are pricey, but they're so different and worth it. I have two of them, and I bought these. This I use when I want to use powder, like just like powder concealer or get into certain areas. It's the only brush that I have ever really, really liked to go in this area because my finger, you know, it's not working as good as it used to be as far as, you know, work getting in there. I love the shape of these. This one I use when I put on concealer, which the last month I've used concealer at two or three times and I haven't used it for five years, but this brush made it easy. It, these were designed by Angie from Hot and Flashy. She had a brush set that she made that were made specifically for older women, and it's just wonderful, and I, I love it. I'm gonna try to get through this next one pretty quickly, but it's earrings. I have not had a new pair of earrings for a long, long time because I only wear 14 karat gold or 12 karat gold. I can wear sterling silver for a little bit, and I have tried many hypoallergenic earrings and also stainless steel, surgical stainless steel. But anyway, Jim said, I really wanna get you something for your birthday. He said, pick out some things and I'll, you know, decide what he wants to get me. Anyway, I have been wanting some new white gold earrings and I wanted some huggies. Well, most of my jewelry that I purchased was in the 80s and in the 90s. And I think like in around 92 or something like that, I think gold was maybe $34 a troy ounce. And a troy ounce is what they use to weigh gold. That's just the raw gold. It's not the finished product. A troy ounce is like 31.1 grams and a regular ounce is 28.3, just, just for reference. Well, gold is now five or six times higher than it was in 92, and the price fluctuates. So what you could buy back in the day, you could get a substantial earring for $100, $200, and all the earrings that I have, I've had for years. And I'm not a trendy person. I pretty well like the classics, and if I bought it, I will still like it in the future. Well, I gotta show you the earrings that I got, and I'm gonna put a picture of me wearing them right here because they're gonna be hard to show. When Jim saw these, he was so disappointed. They are very small, but they are exactly what I wanted. They have a hinge, and then you just pinch it shut, and it just hugs your ear. And they are actually substantial. They're not like they used to be back in the day, but I have seen some that felt like it was just 10, but, but there is a little bit of weight to these. But in the past, when you'd buy gold, you would always know exactly how much gold was in the product that you're purchasing. I can't find that anywhere. That I used to know how much something would weigh. But I love them. They're five millimeters wide and 13 millimeters across, and they're very comfortable. And, and for me, they're just perfect. I have never liked body lotion or body butter. I will use it for the scent. I have some really nice Sol de Janeiro products. My daughter-in-law got me some lovely body butter last year, and I do like to put it on, but I usually put it on the inside of my arm. I don't like the way it feels. So therefore, I have to have something in the bath that doesn't dry my skin out. So I found something this year that I like, and it is, it's not cheap, but it's a lot less expensive than a lot of the products I've purchased in the past. Jim will laugh, he'll say, you'll spend this and this for that, but don't waste paper towels. I am probably the least wasteful person that I know. Other, my mom's gone, she was very not wasteful. But this is, I think it's pronounced Naturium, the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. And one of my viewers, and I think it was Nancy, told me about this, and it is lovely. It has a nice scent, but it is an oil to gel formula that is intensely nourishing. So I have this in my rotation and you can buy them anywhere, but I will, any product that I have, 
I will put in a link below. And if you buy from that link, I will make a commission. That's in most cases. Some, some things you don't, but in most cases, I want you to know that. But it has really made an impression on me, and it's a good impression. The next item are sheets. And these are the Hotel Direct, I believe is what it is. And several of you told me that you bought them and you really, really like them. And they're the bamboo sheets. And I I hope you can feel how luxurious they are. In my bed, there's always three pillows. And I have two with this fabric. And I still use a silk pillowcase. And I probably wouldn't have to, but it's just habit. I've done it for years and years and years. But it just feels so good on your body. If I have not put on different sheets. I will wash these and put them back on. I haven't ordered a second set, but I tell you the price really varies. I When I looked to make sure they still had them, and that day the price was $57 for a queen size. And they're wonderful, and I am giving away some of my other sheets, and once I've given those away, I will order another pair. But that's how much I like them. Because of these, it kind of made me open my eyes to different fabrics in sleepwear. And I love the bamboo, the viscous or viscose, I'm not sure which one it is. And I have three nightgowns that I bought and I will put pictures of them up here. But, uh, the one that's kind of a magenta color is in the wash, but this is one, I've got a black one. And for my birthday, I got two pairs of pajamas. One of them is blue and the other is gray and the gray's in the laundry. And I'll put a picture in to show you what they look like. But I love the fabric. It feels, oh, it, it just feels so good. It doesn't make you hot, doesn't make you cold. It's just really perfect for me. So feel when you go someplace, which I don't like to go shopping. I do not like to go shopping, never have. But if you ever get someplace and you see some bamboo or viscous or viscose, uh, check it out and see what you think. But I love it. The next item is my nightstand. I never thought that I would like it as much as I do. I needed a nightstand. I took the measurements of this nightstand that I needed because I have a CPAP and I needed storage next to my bed and so on and so forth. I wanted something that was up on feet, on legs, and I thought, I don't want to go shopping. I do not want to go in and out. So I put the dimensions I wanted in just the search engine. And I how the height wasn't as important. And Wayfair came up. And I had never ordered anything from Wayfair. And I'm so impressed with it. Of course, it isn't real wood. It's black. That's what my tree's sitting on right there. It impresses me. I don't, I mean, it, it really did impress me. And I don't impress easily. I couldn't believe how well it came packaged. I had it, you know, it was all put together. And I may order something the next time and it may not be good, but I could not be more impressed with something. And I think the price for me to get it home at the time was $211. And something that I found this year, and they are rechargeable lamps. I have one at my bedside, because sometimes you just need a little bit of a light. I have one on the other side of the bed. I have one in the living room and they're like this. This is not my style. Uh, but it's very, but it's functional, and I like the function of it. But you recharge it, and you just tap it once, twice, three times, and it's out. And it has really come in handy. And it has a USB port that you just plug in. I don't know how long it says it's, but I don't leave them on for a long time. But they're so easy to charge. Well, I had got two of these. And I found one a little bit later that was prettier, and I know I paid less than $20 for these. I think the the first ones I showed you, they were prob they were a pair, and they were maybe 50 some dollars at the time. But I know I paid less than $20, and it's this little lamp, and this isn't real glass, but it does, it looks like it is, and you just touch it once, twice, goes down, three times high, and then there. I couldn't be happier with them. I know flashlights work, but uh, this makes me happy. In fact, anything that makes me happy is a beauty item, for sure. The next thing is something that's pretty functional. It is very functional, and it's not pretty, 
but it works. And it is a towel holder for two hand towels. When I moved in here in 1991, in this house that was built in 1891, it was an office and I wanted a bathroom. I'll put a link to a video, I'll put it above and I'll put it below. If you watch it, just kind of fast forward, just go through and it's a video because I hate watching it myself, but I love my bathroom. So I have a shift robe in there that has the four drawers and then it's high and then I have shelves in it. And I wanted something for my towels. So I got this, I ordered this. It The reason I got this color is I just didn't want it to be pretty. I just wanted it to be functional. So what's nice about it, when you have guests, when people come over, you can just tell them when they go in the bathroom, the, the towel in the back is for guests. Cause you know, I'm not gonna buy paper. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. But anyway, every other day I'd switch out the towels and take them out and I bought four of these towels and they're 100% cotton and I really like them. They've been washed and dried to death. It just serves such a purpose. It's so much better than having two towels on the vanity. And I just like it. So when I built, had that bathroom built, I, I didn't have to buy much for it. I had the bathtub. It came from my home growing up and it's six or seven generations of my family that have bathed in that cloth foot bathtub. I had an, a desk that used to be in the emergency room that uh, was wooden with a black glass top. It has pull-out shelves that the doctors would sit and write the prescription. It's a storage cabinet, but I really like it. And then I had a fainting couch, and then I had a chiffre robe. At the time, I had room for a separate bidet and a toilet. But I decided I wanted the other things first. You know, you never know if you get sick. I have a fainting couch. Well, do you know that nobody's ever been on that fainting couch other than my grandbabies when I'd sit and put a towel down and change their diaper. So I kind of mixed that idea. Probably five or six years ago, I started thinking about a bidet for my toilet. Well, I've heard from, I mean, Mary Glitzy Frizzy absolutely loves her bidet. In fact, her boy, her men and her family, she, she didn't have the bathroom to herself anymore because they like it too. When Jim, Jim had his hip replacement, we have, uh, we have three bathrooms in this house, one upstairs and two downstairs. And the back bathroom had a tall toilet. And I knew after he had that hip that he would need one in the front bathroom. And at that time, I started to buy a toilet and a bidet, but I was, it, it was quick. I had to do it quickly because I didn't think of it soon enough. Well, I bought a skirted toilet and they're different. And I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture of my bidet in here, but I, absolutely love it. Don't know what I would do without it. I had a pacemaker put in and this was November 7th. And I'll talk more about that in a video that I do in January, but I'm good. I'm doing fine. For several weeks before I had the surgery, I requested the post-op instructions. I wanted to know what limitations I would have post-operatively. Well, when he said absolutely no showers for four weeks, I'm going to get a bidet because I could not stand the thought of not being able to wash myself. And it's wonderful to use, but like when you are giving yourself a body wash, you know, without being in the bathtub or in the shower, you can just sit there, get your bottom wet, soap it up, rinse it off. And I tell you what, it sure makes you feel clean. Or the other thing I thought about is like if, if you'd ever have something wrong with your arm, um, if you couldn't reach, I I love it, I love it, I didn't. I mean, it's late into the year, but it definitely, I mean, I couldn't wait to next year to tell you about it because it's wonderful. I believe I paid, and when I went back and looked, of course, it's a lot cheaper. I think mine was $356. It has quite a few different features on it. And I had $150 in e-gift cards, and I used that. And it doesn't take a plumber to put it in. Anybody that's handy can do it because you don't have to replumb anything. It's a little different if you have a skirted toilet and also you want to make sure that if you have an elongated seat, but one of the nice benefits, the seat is always warm. One of the reasons I picked the one I did is because it has a remote control right here and I didn't want it on the wall. And I, went, I keep it in a drawer in the cabinet right in front of the toilet. 
but it has rear, it has front, it has vortex. Mine is made by BioBidet. There are tons of makers out there. I have no idea how long this will last. The only thing I don't like about it, I don't know, I don't know why they have the black knob on the side. There's three different buttons on that black side. You don't have to have the remote, but it's it's nice. And there's a dryer. It uh, it makes me wonder why I waited so long to do it. And it definitely saves you money on toilet paper. And my last thing is the Soundcore earbuds. They are they're wonderful. I think they're around thirty dollars. I have the Apple that are a hundred and some dollars. I have another pair that I ordered from QVC. I can't remember the brand, but they're good. I mean, my Apple ones are good. The other ones that I ordered, that I think they were around seventy-five dollars. But these are wonderful. They fit great. I mean, I'm not listening to the New York Symphony uh, with these on, so I, you know, I'm not like super knowledgeable on the quality of sound. But they work for me. And then I ordered, these came in a great big set. I mean, a set of probably eight or nine. But what I will do around the house or like going to appointments, I'll just put this around my head. Like I'll put it around my neck and put this in. And that way I don't lose them. And because that's happened before, I will drop one. Sometimes I forget to take them out. Sometimes I think I have one in and I don't. But the only thing I did wrong was I should have ordered a not in black because number one if you drop one it's harder to find number two if the inside of your purse is black they're hard to find the light would show up better natalie has been my friend since the very beginning of my youtube career we clicked immediately in fact jim and i went to montreal and i spent we went out to dinner with natalie and her boyfriend the next day natalie and i spent the day at her home and just had some wonderful time together. So I feel very close to Natalie. She's always been wonderful, wonderful woman. All of a sudden, unbeknownst to her, her channel was closed down completely. She cannot get into her channel. She said she can contest this decision in 90 days. She doesn't have access. I asked her what I could do, what we could do, and, and there wasn't anything she said that anybody could do other than her just wait for 90 days. She is heart sick and I am heart sick for her. She can't even watch her own old videos and she cannot comment on videos. I don't, I don't know. It just, it, it literally breaks my heart. And Natalie, you know, there's so many of my viewers love Natalie and, uh, and I do too. So Natalie, I know you're out there and anything I can do, you know I will. Now I want to announce the winners of my last giveaway. This month I gave away three $100 e-gift cards to wherever I can get them or a $100 deposit to a PayPal account. And these are funds that I use myself. I always save a certain percent of what I make doing YouTube to give back to y'all because if you didn't watch my videos or use my links, I wouldn't have a YouTube channel. I wouldn't make any money. The first name drawn was... Karen Butnick. Congratulations, Karen. You were the first winner chosen. The second winner was Elaine F. Congratulations, Elaine. And the last winner is Mint. And her name is Sharon. Congratulations, Sharon. Congratulations to all three of you. To make sure this is not a scam, I mean, I don't know, I will always reply on my page and have you send me an email and then I will reply to your email and have you go back and leave another comment so I know it's you. So anyway, that's kind of what I've done to, to be safe because there's so many scammers out there. I will be back in January sometime and I might tell you some of the 20 that did not make the cut of the top 10. I don't know, but it was hard. It was really hard to do that. I appreciate you all so much. Um, I think you know how much I appreciate you. I learned from you. I loved reading all of your comments about what you looked forward to in December. It makes me happy. It is all good. With God with me, it is all good. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. No, it isn't. I didn't break that rule. Okay, but I, but I will I will cut I will talk about it.
her channel page. This one I use when I, I and also like her found, I always have them, uh, oh my gosh, they do.